I'm going to be discussing the recent reveal or leak of the achievements from Hogwarts Legacy. This list came from Epic Games and lists every achievement that will feature in the game. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy and before we get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me over on Instagram for more magical content. Rather than covering all of the achievements today, I've chosen five from the list which I believe contain the most intriguing information. Whether it be a hint at a particularly thrilling questline, or something that hints at some extremely exciting gameplay elements. I'll also include a link in the description down below with the full list of achievements for anyone that hasn't read them through yet. But please be warned as it contains some pretty heavy story and gameplay spoilers. Number 1. The Hallowed Hero Wield a Deathly Hallow Fans have been theorizing about the Deathly Hallows appearing in Hogwarts Legacy pretty much since the game was announced. In fact, it's something I even mentioned during my last video when discussing outfits. But this achievement confirms that the Deathly Hallows do indeed appear inside the game. The achievements mentions the character wielding just one, but my feeling is that they're going to include one of them, they're going to include all of them. I'm going to guess that these are late game or perhaps post main story items that will require some hefty skill levels or challenging sections of gameplay to obtain. After all, they are perhaps the most powerful magical objects that appear in the series. I think it's also easy to imagine how these mythical objects might aid our character throughout the game. The Elder Wand offering a huge boost of power to any spell that's conjured, the Resurrection Stone allowing us a way to quickly revive or avoid death under certain circumstances, and the cloak giving a huge stealth advantage when sneaking around the castle and grounds or taking an unexpected bad guy unawares. But on top of the individual perks, there's also the legend about whoever wields all three becoming the Master of Death. Of course, as we've never seen anyone actually possessing the trio at once, we don't know exactly how that's going to manifest. But I think however it does, it's going to add an extra level of fun to the gameplay. Number 2. The One Who Mastered Memories view all pensive memories. We knew that Hogwarts Legacy was going to include a huge array of magical objects, but honestly, this was one that surprised me. It seems that the pensive will be making an appearance in the game, allowing us to relive some memories. The description here doesn't tell us much, but there's a few different ways I can see this going down. It's a possibility we'll be able to collect memories from different characters throughout the game and live through some of their experiences. I think it's worth noting that I can't see them adding this unless they're significant characters. Perhaps it's people we already know from the Harry Potter series, or who have some important bearing on the story of the game. My other theory is that we're actually viewing the memories of the main character. We know that when they arrive at Hogwarts, they're already in the sixth year, and so it might be a way for us to piece together what they've been doing for the past five years. Perhaps this is how the game will explain the mysterious and ancient magic the character uses. Number 3. Merlin's Beard. Complete all Merlin's Trials. Although Merlin has been hinted at throughout the trailers for the game, this achievement shows us that he features in a specific series of quests or trials as they're referred to here. Merlin might be the most famous wizard of all time, but we don't get to learn much about him during the Harry Potter series other than what features on his chocolate frog card. It's going to be interesting to see how the game fleshes out this character. It's canon that Merlin was sorted into Slytherin, and due to the time period he existed in, may have been taught by Salazar Slytherin himself and it looks like Old Sal might have given him a few lessons on hiding secret chambers inside the school. Due to his fame, he's a frequent occupant of portraits around the castle, so it's possible we might get to chat with the man himself, whether it's to learn more about his mysterious past or just to get a hint about a particularly frustrating puzzle. Regardless of how the mechanics will work, I can't wait to see what we'll discover and the magical rewards that will await. Number four, that's a keeper. Meet Charles Rookwood in the map chamber. Now, it's not so much the actual achievement that interests me here, but more the name of the character within it. Charles shares the same surname as Augustus Rookwood, who is a Death Eater in the Harry Potter series. Rookwood worked at the Ministry of Magic inside the Department of Mysteries. During the First Wizarding War, he became a spy for Voldemort, passing on secrets within the Ministry and avoiding detection for a very long time, even going as far as to rat out other Death Eaters to maintain his cover. He was a cunning, mysterious, and extremely resourceful character, and if his ancestor shares these traits, I think we're in for a really interesting character, and one whose story I am eager to see unfold within the castle. Number 5. Rising from the Ashes, Rescue the Phoenix 
It was clear from the first teaser for Hogwarts Legacy that they were going to include a menagerie of magical creatures. And since then, from Nifflers to dragons, the team has delivered. But one mythical beast I honestly wasn't expecting to run into on our travels was a phoenix. And not only that, but the achievement state's player will be tasked in rescuing it. We've seen a snippet of a mission that involves saving a hippogriff that's been captured by poachers. And from the dialogue we heard during the scene, I believe this will be the precursor to unlocking the ability to ride one. That being said, the phoenix is an entirely different animal, its powers far more magical and mysterious. And so, it will be interesting to see not only a reward, a vial of phoenix tears would sure come in handy when running low on health, but also the witches or wizards that are skilled enough to actually capture it. Will it be another group of poachers, or someone much more powerful with a sinister purpose in mind for the creature? And on that final note, we reach the end of this video. For those who want to read more about the achievements, the link will be in the description below. If you have any thoughts on what I've discussed here, or if there's something really exciting I might have missed when going through the achievements, please let me know below. Thank you as always, and stay tuned for coverage of all future Hogwarts Legacy news.